Conan, with me and Pink. The others are busy or sleeping. So you wanted to know, what is Guardian Exile? Not Guardian Exile, Guardian Golem. Yeah, we got a little uh, pink dude over here. Well, not pink, but he's got a pink flashlight. Kind of rad. Yes, his eyeballs are pink flashlight. So I'm not quite sure what his issue is right now. He should be at work. Oh. Golems are automated harvesters. Ah. Taking an Indian mandated break right now. Kind of, yeah. It'd be funny if he had a little like, a little golem cigarette. That would complete it. <laughs> what, what would a golem even smoke? That's a good question. Coal. He'd, he'd smoke coal. Right. We need to get him coal he's for... He's got a loincloth. You think he's got some junk down there? We can check. I, th I think he's built like a Lego person. Where like he's he's I think he's got like you know how a Lego person has that lower half that little waist piece where it's like clips into the bottom of his torso yeah, and then it's yeah. got the two little swivels. I think he's got that. Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna move him a little bit see if that gets the if that finishes his union mandated break. If we have to fight the golems union, then so be it. <laughs> nope, he's just mixed up. Server's just kicking on, though, so it's probably a little bit of that. Ah, uh, yeah. Boy, that light is something, ain't it? It's beautiful. Reflects off my helmet really weirdly. Horse. Horse. Oh, no. Oh, no! What is going on? Uh-oh. Well, hmm. this is interesting. Uh... Okay, there we go. I was wondering if I was going to have to use admin commands to fix that. <laughs> oh man, since I've turned the audio up, I can actually hear the music now. Hmm. I've got my audio turned on, but there's actually no music playing right now. Unless I set that to zero. Which would oh, for me, it, for me it's playing uh, like Arabic music quite loudly. Playing the music when Indiana Jones goes to the Middle East. Right. Oh, my bad, dancer. Did you? Just pulled over with the horse. Made her key take a key she bonk. Right. Alright, so I do want today to be a building day. But there is a big priority. And you know what that is? What's a priority? You have not been introduced yet to the goddess of sex. Ah, oh, this is a fact. Yes, it is. So, do you want to trek across the whole map and learn? We can do that. Then let me bring my horse down from the castle, because I put it up here. I should probably make a better way of getting up to the castle, because Mike and I have both died trying to ride horses up the stairs now. <laughs> Just got to be careful about building up momentum. Nailed it. All right. The horse does not appreciate it, though. I cannot blame it. All right. There you are. So we shall journey to the Far East. Come with me. Lead the way. Oh, look at this little zombie posse we got going. It's great. Oh, yeah. They just kind of wreck everything. We, uh, soon got antsy and bored, so we went and cleared a dungeon. And as it turns out, the zombie swarms make, the, make uh, at least the dungeon we checked out kind of a joke. Yeah. Like, Mike didn't even really get to hit anybody, because all of our followers would gang up on all the enemies first. <laughs> what are those goobers out there in the line? Hmm, even in death they serve. Hmm, I probably should check the map while we're stopped here. Okay. Probably fine. Hmm. We'll probably be able to make our way regardless of what route we take. Uh, the most direct route east might be the smart one. 
your horse leveled up. That's nice. He's that. now at 20,000 health. My god. That's a beefy horse. Stupid scorpion. <laughs> Get dead. Poke and run away. Yeah. Well, I love doing that to some of the some of the human and undead NPCs because they just get donkey punched in and they're like, hey. <laughs> hmm. I'm curious what uh, what is at the end of this particular... I think we're fine to pass through this passage. There's one particular passage through the Red Mountains that we don't go down. <laughs> we don't do that here. Yeah, it's... From, learned from learned from experience. Oh, oh uh, that rock is following you. Oh, that that's not a rock. That's a beastie boy. It's in it's well. Like I I if it was the beastie boys, then we'd at least know from a distance. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? It, it, I it's one of my favorite things. Not very many games do it. When a boss has like. Not only a theme song that follows him around, and whenever you leave the boss fight, when you run away from the boss, you can't hear it anymore. But also, I love for it to be like, it to get quieter the farther you you are away from them, right? Yeah. Because I love for, like, when you can hear in the distance, it going and going, uh-oh. <laughs> uh, Dead Rising 1 had the most notorious boss fight in that game. Has a theme song that is very clearly discount Beastie Boys. I like it. Yeah. Well, let's see. Okay, I'm. St Every now and then we lose the zombies because they see a baby scorpion and they go kill. Oh yeah, I just turned to look back at them. They're trying to catch up right now. Oh, go! <laughs> ah. Oh, the scorpion and the snake are fighting. Let them fight! <laughs> Mother Nature at work! Ooh, rhinos. Look at that! That's a big snake to be this far west. Oh, cacti. Oh! <laughs> I, it, it made the little shoulder check noise when you bumped into me. <laughs> it did, that was hilarious. Like, I was jammed into a cactus, cactus, and then you headbutted me in the ass. Like, th this poor horse has got all kinds of prickles on the front now. <laughs> hmm. From here, I think we'll be passing into the African savanna, and then after that, we might be entering Graboid country. All right. Which... Oh, <laughs> The hit detection on this is quite large. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of generous. Which is not bad for enemies, but it is kind of funny when you keep uh, smacking your ass into your teammates. <laughs> the great thing is watching someone go through Sepper Maru and accidentally cause one of the guards to take a Kishi bump. That's exactly what caused the stage to go off the last time I played. Oh, shit. Whoop! Oh, did you go off? I did. I'll be fine. The horse a little less so. <laughs> I don't know. The horse, your horse has got 9,000 health and only getting bigger. Your horse is gaining... Oop, not for long. <laughs> your horse is gaining mass rapidly, I must say. That's a fact. Hmm. What are you thinking you want to do after we introduce you to the god of sex? That's a good question. I don't know how to answer that. Oh, I oh it looked like I was going to land on your zombie there. I guess the next step is to practice it. You would think. But it is practiced in strange ways. Oh my. Oh yeah. That's one of the rare few occasions where it actually does work for me to go, oh, yeah, in response. <laughs> I love the sound of you every now and then checking the zombie. <laughs> and, like, the zombie sounds mildly annoyed by it. Like, I hear the thunk, and then I hear the zombie go, <clears throat> I'm going to take a second to refill my uh, 
thirst. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. I'll do the same. You can kind of see why I stopped bothering with carrying a water skin at a certain point. Right. That first grip burst, man. Been yeah. Forever. Priest King's retreat. I'm not looking where I'm going. What does this look like for you? Oh, well now I'm running into walls. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna be we're gonna be blessing the rains down in Africa for a little bit. I like it. The zombies are going to definitely. Stay behind here because they will just see these elephants and tigers and rhinos galore, and they will want all of this. They want the smoke, as they say. Yeah. Which now makes me want to name the trio of zombies Bianca, Montez, and Angelo. <laughs> oh, they're all just going to beat the shit out of this rhino. Deserve that. It, it was there. Oh, I think I might be able to steal a tiger cub. <laughs> Got it! Mission success! Yeah! I am now carrying a baby tiger in my pocket. I see no problem with this. <laughs> oh, we missed. We, uh, we took the wrong turn on Alpha Turkey. after you, ironically. Yeah, I wonder why. I uh, took a wrong turn somewhere around there. Uh, I don't know where you are. Oh, you're okay. You're behind I'm me. Okay. I'm behind you. I'm watching a, a National Geographic documentary right now. As I'm watching a tiger. <laughs> yeah, you're about to become a National Geographic documentary. Right. Don't worry. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I love going through the savannah, because every time you get a trail of tigers behind you, then they see an elephant, and they're like, wait, we want that! <laughs> it's guaranteed we're going to lose someone doing that, but it's worth it. One of us gets to eat elephant. A delicacy? Yes. What was that? Oh, rock boy. Behold my pike. My character looks a little bit stanky like this, honestly. <laughs> yeah, that's enough of that goofery. Hmm. Yeah, that's graboid territory up ahead. We probably want to hang a right, otherwise we'll end up uh, on a cliff, I think. All right. We look at that bug. Graboids, baby. Yet to see, I uh, I had yet to see one. Get a load of the mouth. Oh my. Yeah, graboids. Uh, let's let let's 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 leave this place. This is a silly yeah. place. Let nature sort itself out out there. Yeah. I haven't got my zombies back. They're probably back there beating up an elephant with their bare hands. What is that out there? Uh, that is a rock formation that the local band of pirates has abruptly decided to turn into a ship. Okay, that's what it looks like. I didn't want to say, look at that ship over there, when it's clearly made of rock, and there's no chance in hell of actually, uh, you know, sailing on the waters. Ow. Yeah, stick some jet boosters to the side, it'll be fine. <laughs> right. We're gonna have to get around this pirate camp. There might be a more convenient way of doing this, but hell if we'll find it. Alrighty then. I gotta say, this place has a remarkable antelope uh, uh, population for it to be, you know, not even really a biome at all. Right.
Alright. I don't know where the fuck my zombies are. Oh god, just constant. <laughs> constant meat slapping begins. Horsey leveled up again. <laughs> that was trial by combat for them. <laughs> they sparred. Ow! Like, really, a horse running that closely up behind another horse should be crushed by cock with a rock I must. Maximum pain I must endure. Should be brutal. You would think. Oh, mm -hmm. I love that you take the fall damage. That that's that's just so great. <laughs> yeah, I took the damage the horse did. Like the horse, the, the, the horse. My ass is wrecked. You're right, that spot, that part, the tailbone just entered your rectum. Yeah. Oh oh oh. Oh. It's actually kind of a good thing I stopped there so that you didn't run off the cliff. Nope, I hear an angry pirate on the other side. What's he doing out here? Apparently it's a she. It's so lush and green out here, though. Oh, where did he come from? I don't know. This is just empty jungle, and he was labeled Darfari Fighter 1. He's not even a legendary NPC. that bunny I seen it well the Darfari fighter and the tiger are now going at it apparently nice hmm ow <laughs> that guy's got a pig leg I don't know if you've noticed that now when I hit People, they get a little status effect above their health bar. I did not notice that. Being a sorcerer, one of the perks I get from Devouring Souls is that I now make it where when I hit an enemy for a good little bit, they deal way less damage. Oh. And the status icon for that is like a little frowny face. Well, it's not even really a frown, it's just kind of like the mildly displeased neutral face, right? Right. Like, they're, it, it, he's not mad. It's just I hit him and I make them kind of mildly upset. <laughs> okay, from here I'm going to need to hit the map screen real quick. Is that a tree branch or a baby lizard? That's a baby lizard! That's a baby lizard! I'm going to grab it! Success. Komodo ba- it's a Komodo baby! Oh man. Okay, let's see. Apparently we're at just now at the Western Garrison. Okay, if we ride around the coast, we'll hit something that actually me, Mike, and Soon, when we made our jungle trip, we missed. And I wanted to hit it, because it'll be it'll pay off in the future. Take this, you fool! <laughs> Get wrecked, nerd. I only cause mild injuries and then I leave. Mild injuries which cause mild displeasure. <laughs> you know, I've always heard camels referred to as the ship of the sands. But I think we found out that the horse is the ship of the seas. Oh, truly. Oh, that hmm. snake? that's mildly intimidating. That is a long boy right there. Let's go around him. I think we got the stats for it, but the snake has a really annoying attack. Uh, a really, not annoying, excuse me. The snake has Slithering Beach. I wonder why. Oh boy. We can't stay here. This is snake country. Florida. Yeah. So snakes, uh, yeah, snakes have a really, really, really fast attack, as you can imagine. 
and one of the super mega fuck your ass bosses in in the unnamed city is a giant snake. Uh. And he is the hardest of them to beat because he is just extraordinarily unpredictable. Alrighty, and right now, there's this big-ass cliff. We're not going up here, but it is valuable information for if at some point any of us wants to set up in the jungle. But up here on this cliff, there is then inside kind of a little canyon, a little sinkhole, which is where the only place in the jungle where you can really get consistent, uh, good supply of iron. Oh. It's also one of the only two spots on the map where you can get silver. Oh. Yeah. It's also one of the only, like, three or four spots where Asian people spawn. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. I believe we're now coming into where we can see what we're trying to get at here. You see that uh, Cambodian Khmer-looking tower in the distance? I do believe that is our destination. What, permit me a moment to check the map. Ah, oh, that might not be our destination. Let's hang a right up here. And let's go up this cliff side. Because our destination might actually be up here. Well, one of our two destinations. This is not the Goddess of Sex, but this is quicker means of access to the jungle. Up here is the obelisk for the jungle that we touch it and we can use the map room to get here instantly. Uh. Boy, my zombies are just long gone. I have where the hell are they? <laughs> They're still fighting open. Probably. Oh, there we go. I'm ah. Oh boy, I'm a sorcerer with half my stamina pool. I can't climb. <laughs> I'm already halfway through. Oh boy. Oh, oh quarter no. of the way. Oh, no, I'm not going to make it. Oh, boy. Oh! I'll get you. Oh, God. I, I couldn't get you. I did land on your face for a second, but that was as close as it got to catching. Okay, maybe this one's easier to climb. Hopefully the rest of this trek up here won't involve too much climbing. Holy crap, how did my horse get up here? He climbed too. Oh, okay. That was that was that, that was a little bit hairy there. I, I was fully prepared to build you a little, I don't know, ramp. A Something, way. yeah. Wheelchair accessible. Right. I gotta say, the jungle's got a, di a different feel to it when you come to it during the day and it's not raining. Because when me, Mike, and uh, Soon came up here, it was a very rainy night, and it was kind of spooky. Ah. But during the daytime, it's actually quite nice. I didn't know it rained in this game. Ah, uh, yeah, everywhere but the desert, which is where we've been living. Ah. Where, oh, where is the obelisk? All we get are sandstorms. Yeah. Yeah, that's another reason to build outside the desert, I suppose. Hmm. Okay, the obelisk isn't in this pagoda. Oh, you know what? I think it's up at the next cliff face landmass, whatever. Which, we can get over there probably pretty easy. How do you feel about your parkour skills? Well, not great, but uh, it'll be fine. At least you've got stamina, brother. Give me a second. I'm actually going to make a bedroll real quick. That would be wise. Hmm. Well, I'm not really in a position to make one at the moment. <laughs> so, uh, I got extra tension, a little bit uh, extra excitement with my parkour. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! 
That was amazing and also horrible. The horse Alive. just... Yeah, 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 of course he's fine. He's tanky as shit, but... That was... He, like, he left, like, win a wind trail behind him. <laughs> oh, fucking birds! Oh! <sighs> blended right in. I didn't even notice him. Yeah, the local... The local giant bird fauna are cool, but not friendly. Oh. Ignore the fact that I missed my first shot there. Oh! They're not tanky either. Headshot! Yeah, that I guy expecting that tree to be a lot taller, honestly. I, I'm kind of surprised. I made a. I feel like I made a better roll for no good reason. Well, there are some other cliff faces we need to go down here. Okay. Oof. Ow. I made it. Oh, I'm over encumbered because you landed on me. Yeah. Apparently, there's an achievement in this game for having for being over encumbered and then having stu having two people stand on top of your head and soon wants us to give it to him. <laughs> You think I, I could probably scale this, don't you think? Uh, probably. Yeah, it'll probably think, be fine. I think this elevated part up here you can stand on. Yeah. I gotta say, it, it like, looking up, like, my character's skirt climbing this, like, my character's thighs do not look good. <laughs> the, the Palpatine thighs. Why, like, she, uh, she looks like her legs are going to fall off. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, oh, 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 oh! No, you were so close! So close, so very close. I'll go up the way you went, the side you went. I could probably stand on this one. Oh, hello, horse. <laughs> I see you took the slow route. <laughs> see, Mike can do a good Mr. Ed. When I try to do a horse, I just do Optimus Prime. <laughs> oh, okay. Gotta do a little bit of climbing on this one. And this should be it. If we can find it. It's gotta be around here somewhere and it's gonna be smelly. Dagon's eye. Dagon's eye. Oh, oh, okay. Don't want to fuck with that. Son of a bitch, if it's not here, where is it? I'm gaining corruption somehow. Oh, you're close. Oh, there it is. The smelly pillar. Where, where oh, are you? Thing. Yes! I'm right next to it. Uh, probably on the opposite side of you. Yep, there run you up go. to it and press X. Uh, and then run away from it. Because uh, it'll give you the stink, and I don't care about the stink, but for you, that is not great. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to have to cut across the shitty... The shitty. Excuse me. The city <laughs> of Jalha. Okay. Shitty city. The shitty city of Zel Jelha. Yes. It's actually kind of an awesome city. In my single player, I did what you were saying soon, and I was able to get one of my uh, followers up from level 0 to level, like, 8 or 9 really quickly here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like I said, those apes are crazy. The Forgotten City of Jelha. There's so many of them is the best part about it, too. Well, and they're not they're not really that hard, right? Because th no, the issue they is go down in two swings once you have steel weapons. Well, like you want them, you want an enemy that it provides plenty of XP, but is also easy, right? So that it doesn't kill your new right. follower. Exactly. Oh wait, uh, you can't okay. Very well, go farming bosses with a with a weak follower. Yeah. Like, even the even that one like flesh or sorry sand reaper boss 
will just annihilate your uh, your thrall if they get caught by the uh, the poison vomit. Yeah. Which I unfortunately had that happen to one of my thralls uh, yesterday. Was it just got stunlocked by that one bomb move and it just died uh, from full health. That is a large monkey. Oh, you haven't even. Oh, brother Mike. Uh, Mike. Excuse me. Oh, brother Pink. Oh, I found out which uh, which Lovecraft. Uh... Old God was it was over over there. Uh, it would be Dagon, the same one that's called Dagon for Lovecraft. Yes. Yep, I found a, a temple there. Yes. That's cool. Is he nice? I didn't get to meet him myself, unfortunately. Oh. Yeah, he wasn't in the office. Yeah. <laughs> Out to lunch. Yeah, exactly. Out to lunch. A lunch of human souls. No, that's that's. I think that's what you uh you do for your lunch now. Well, that's that's also true, but <laughs> different scales. You know, I'm I'm lucky to get a snack every now and then. He gets full blown feasts. True, true, true. All right, so we gotta cut across the city of apes to get to the goddess of sex. No, and also it's super fucking dark because we're here at nighttime now. Yeah, I can't see anything. Uh, so but of sex, death, and bugs, and cats, and cats. And cats. By the way, cats. soon I can confirm it does not always rain in Jelha. I thought it did. Every time I've ever been to Jelha, it rained, but it is not raining on me and Pink right now. Weird. Because yeah, it, it, I mean it does rain like at least eighty percent of the time based on what I've, I've seen. The jungle is actually a really nice looking place when it's not raining. No, it is, it is. The problem is if you build a base in uh, Jelha, all of the models get the wet texture. Yeah. Even on the inside, so it looks a little, it looks a little funky. Yeah. Most of the time. I don't know about you, Pink, but I'm relying on the mini-map. I I don't know about you, Pink, but I'm yeah, relying on the mini-map here. I was relying on the health bars above the head. I like, oh, yeah. I, I know there's something over there. Let's shoot in that general direction. Oh, it's dark. Yeah, I'm like seeing shadows of apes in the night. Quite frightening. Galileo, Galileo. <laughs> Alright, hang right up here. I'm climbing up this thing, but then I'm bouncing off it immediately. Oh, God! What are you doing? I was just <laughs> trying to climb this pillar here, and then a gorilla came out of nowhere. Shooting his That's his animal. house! Are you sure? Yeah, this is perfectly legal. This is all the stand your ground laws, man. The Celestial Plaza. This gorilla knows. He knows his rights. <laughs> I've come to violate them. Oh, oh! Uh, these gorillas have already been violated. The goddess of sex lives here. Oh, oh my. <laughs> have you noticed that it's a mixture of gorillas and then more human-shaped monkeys? Oh no. Oh yeah. If you stop and talk with the teacher who teaches the goddess of sex stuff, she explicitly says, Oh yeah, this used to be a human city, but the humans started fucking monkeys, and then it it, they, it produced monkey men. Which is a recurring theme for Lovecraft and Robert E. Howard, because both were racist and using it as an allegory for real-world race mixing. Hi. Yeah, it's a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> Just a tad. Just a little. It's a big monkey. So it's the issue, I guess it's the fun thing, it's the funny thing, like, we're used to nowadays, like, a lot of adaptations, generally speaking, will cut out the uncomfortable elements of something they're adapting. So Conan is so weird, because they haven't really cut out a lot of what's uncomfortable about Conan or the Lovecraft mythos. Mighty Joe not gonna grow old. Is that what you named your horse? No, that's 
that's what I call the dead gorilla. No. Oh. You don't name your own followers, you just name the things you kill. <laughs> your horse, however, stays yeah, horse. Is not impressive if they're against nobody. Yeah. No, I did not order a horse to move. I ordered myself to get on the horse's back. Thank you. Yeah, I tell the horse to run off into the night. <laughs> no way, come back. <laughs> Monkey. Monkey. Monster. God damn. The birds are so vicious. What are my challenges today? Sacrifice your friends to Satan for 50 Why? XP? I don't know. I might think about that. <laughs> I'll have to think about it for a second. gonna re-roll these. They are not ah. easily acceptable. Defeat Thunderfoot for 150 XP times 10. Holy shit. Uh, you, by the way, you can get a... With the randomizer, you can get like a multiplier of like times 70. Oh, wow. Uh-huh, and that will... Like a whole, a whole level. So, that... Like 1500... 1500 XP is not that bad. Uh, yeah, it's still a whole level. That's still a, le it's a, a level and a half, a thousand per level of the pass, but uh, the way to get up here. Has some gross acne. What? He needs to get some facial cleanser. I see. As much of my character is popping her veins out, it looks like she's kind of been doing the roids. Should be gonna get in the belly soon. Uh, where's, uh, there's the entrance. Oh, for a second, I thought that wasn't a rabbit. I thought that was like a badger or something. Hank, are you just scaling the side of the cliff? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll go in the front door. You go in the back door, I guess. Gotta keep things secret sometimes, you know. <laughs> yeah. We need to get Pink some climbing boots. Oh, we're not too far from that, actually. Oh, yeah, I figured. Oh, what the? Oh, I'm being attacked. I thought they were friendly. They were not. Uh, yeah, the local, uh, the sex cult is generally not. Here. Yeah, the sex cult is generally not super friendly. Only the one chick is. Yeah. Oh, get away. Oh, there's Pink, okay. It's a cook! I wish my zombies were here, they'd make this a lot easier. I lost my zombies somewhere in Africa soon. I don't know if they died or if they're still back there. I don't I don't know. They should have died by now, right? We it's been a bit since we played the last. Oh no, it, it only counts server up time. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Which means that they lost for a long fucking time. Well, wait, does that does it still work that way even if you have the like, heck? turned off? I shot a guy with an arrow and he's split in half. Oh, you shot him with an arrow real hard. I guess so. Look at all this stone. Look at this bald guy. Who does he think he is? <laughs> Look at all this stone. Look at this bald guy. We're all looking at things. Jeez, they hate my horse. Oh, my spear broke. I'm gonna have to beat this guy up with my bare hands. Oh, I'm not doing much damage. You're doing no damage. Ah! I've got crap on this. I would have got him eventually. <laughs> eventually. He wasn't even fighting back at that point, so yeah. Uh, yeah, he got stuck on that cliffside, and his AI was just like, I don't know. <laughs> Search me. I'll give up. Guess I'm done. Wait, what is that? I'm gonna loot it just in case. I'm also gonna take this guy's pot. But not that kind. Yeah. 
Hey guys, I got some pot. And you, just, you just produce like an actual bit of pottery. <laughs> Hold back. Watch this. Was something supposed to happen? Pagoda of Boundless Lust. Oh, oh they they want a piece. Oh um. All right. Just let them. Let just go. let them run past. All right. Fair enough. Later, bitches. Time to learn about sex. Do I talk or oh, they're coming back! What? They're here! They brought a I, spider boy! I don't have a weapon! Here, take my fists! Ow! That is good enough. Oh, God! Guy's running at me with an arrow in his head. It's quite intimidating. Quick, you take a kishi bump. All I can do is kick people. Admittedly, my kick is super powered because I'm a sorcerer, but still. Ow! <laughs> that looks weird. Uh, yeah, one of the sorcerer perks is you get a super powered kick that makes people take Kishi bumps. Ah. It's great when I kick them in the ass, though, and they just go flying. <laughs> Ow! Ow! God damn! Oh, that's not great. What happened? What's going on? Uh, the spider I summoned accidentally hit me, which isn't what it's supposed to do. Oh, you it's friendly. The spider? Yeah, I summoned it. Don't, don't. Well, now it's Why pissed. Are you, trying to eat me? you were shooting it in the face. That, that's true. See, when the spider popped up the first time, I thought that was part of the, uh, cultist out here. I didn't know that was you. Yeah, I mean, it, it fits both of us, really. Hey, Alex, do you have any food on you? Uh, no, but with the goddess of sex contacted and the obelisk touched, we've done everything we needed here. So, what we should be doing is, uh, follow me. Hang on, just a second. Follow me. She performs the sacred obscenities. Yes, she does. Ah! I think at some point she's going to talk to you about... I finish her speech in order to learn the, the ways? No, just click on the uh, learn no, yeah, button. Just, just learn, yeah, learn the uh, version. It has been she, has to... she doesn't have the worship emote, does she? I got mm -mm. the power. She's one of the religious teachers who doesn't teach you the pray emote. Yeah. Where is Pink gone? I went back down the steps. Oh, okay. I'm killing myself. <laughs> oh, that's that's funny every time. All right. Uh, soon we did hit up the jungle obelisk, so we can get there from the map room now, which is important. Okay, it, it works for the whole clan. No. If one person touches, I guess I didn't think so. But yeah, I have to personally touch it. But I got a big butt for you. Ooh, I can make these. I can make these means of travel much easier if you go out and hunt some sorcerers for me and get me some sorcerers pages. Oh, uh, I can do that. I actually had some some plans that I wanted to uh, to go get to. I did pick up a uh, named alchemist just now. All right. 
What's his name? His name, her name is Iblis. Iblis? Iblis. I'm not going to remember that. It's she I has no Ib. L. Yeah, she has no Ib. I did put my sacrificial okay. stone in my room, my bedroom, for a little bit, but I'm going to move it to just outside of Sephir Maru to make the sacrificial process easier. I need to work on the altar to our secret religion that uh, Pink cannot worship yet. Aww, that's so mean. Why are you excluding me from all the fun? He has not learned the ways of worshipping the beast. Maybe I don't want to learn those ways. Okay, I have put the baby Komodo and the baby tiger in the in the uh, pet corral. Yay! Wait, the baby Komodo and the baby what? Baby tiger. Oh, baby tiger. I need to go pick up a baby spider as well. Well, sorry, I need to pick up a baby spider egg sack because it just takes forever to uh to be born. Ah, uh, the baby spider. Oh, the baby spider salt merchant is on the other side of the goddamn map. Oh, I know where it is. You guys just came from where it is. Ah, uh, we came from far south of it. I must. Yeah, not that food, far south. And I have no food. I need to figure out a place to put the uh, our set worshiper. Did you build the altar yet? Ah, uh, no. I need to expand the basement. I. Hang on, one thing at a time, I was just getting food for the baby Komodo and baby tiger, and, and now that I've done that, I need to actually, I need to repair or replace my pike. And then once I've done that, then I'll be getting back to work on expanding the castle, because it needs it. Okay. Okay. Horse, let me climb on you. <laughs> like it. I am the master of my own fate. Being enslaved right now. I need any wood. Oh, I need to drop off this brick. These bricks. And I'll drop the kite in somewhere. Oh, bigger. Alright, let me dispense my sacrificial stone right here. Overlapping with another object or terrain. Okay, there we go. That's, yeah, that's fairly close. That'll work. Who the hell is dumping all this shit on the artisan table? It's not me. I just spawned in. Why the hell is there just so much garbage on here? Some of this can be used for crafting uh, furniture. Not most of it. <laughs> Man, there is so much garbage on all of these. Yep, we have a storage problem. We need to get organized. Oh, I've got some excess human flesh. Let me stuff that stuff that in the hydraulic press. I only vocalize this because it's so uh, interesting to say every time. Discovered Zalter's Crossing. How do you make a campfire? Uh, it is in your regular inventory, inventory crafting menu. Yep, pretty easy to access. Alright. Oh, by the way, you're right next to a little island called Drifter's Rest, which will have a book on it that teaches you cooking recipes. Oh. Do you think I care? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is a nice little island, though. I'm a fan. Very green, very lush. I'm gonna build a temporary house here. This is mine now. There's already a dude living there, but you're just gonna take it. He can share. And if he doesn't want to share, I'll just kill him. So you need to be encumbered at like 700%, right? Before you die. I'm sorry? 
I, I know that there's a max carry limit, and if you pass that, you just die. But what? Yeah. That, you remember when I texted, or sorry, when I uh, messaged you about the, uh, the Tower of the Elephant achievement? Yeah, the only way to get that is by dying uh, through being encumbered from people standing on top of your head. Well, that almost makes me want to test it, but we'd have to find something extra heavy. Well, that's why the uh, the achievement is, yeah, for having... You, basically, you have two people stand on another person's head while they are encumbered themselves. And it should kill them. Assuming they're encumbered enough. All right, then. You just stand over there for a bit. Alright, so now I shall commence on the building of the castle. And as a result, I'm going to go ahead and cut this recording. So, folks, I will see you later. Oh!